is up guys welcome back to my channel we're doing chapter two of the ward hell house the path has led me to a clearing and i arrived at an old diplomated house alas i found sanctuary so we are in chapter two the last um episode was really short right but we're starting to and we read this part already so we read this part now I'm going back and I'm not going back into the wilderness. It's not with the heavy music. It's obvious that cult like activities took place on this island in a previous era. I wonder who would build a house on this sinister island. I'll think about it later. For now, I really need a rest. We're here and we're going in. Is it? Say, wait, before we go out there. There's another. Okay, there's a building here. Like, this is the whole town. What is that? Okay, you see the thing right there? Right here where I have my little thing. Right there. Does that not look like someone's peeking out? Maybe I'm wrong, but that looks like someone's peeking out. Could be a cheap, but look, there's houses and shit. Fight me like a man! Okay, this is probably gonna get blurred out. So the the it is the decapitated head of a horse. The eyes of in and innards of the head have been removed. The smell right here is sickening. Um, it looks a little fucked up, but. Whatever. Various rusted tools and chains scattered around. Nothing unusual here. Nothing unusual here. Didn't we just see fucking fresh chains and blood shit? Oh, what's this? Lock. So much for trying to get through a side door. What is that? A chainsaw covered in blood. Looks like more than just trees were being cut with this. What a nightmare. What? Oh, I see the blotches of blood. <laughs> I'm totally fine. I'm like, sweet, cool. Various rusted tools and chains scattered around. Nothing unusual here. Nothing unusual. Okay. We're going in. Yay. I'm terrified. I don't know why I do this to myself. I can't do horror games, but I love them. This day planner contains entries from day to day errands and appointments. The last entry date is five years ago. Oh, it's a horse! This is what the horse looks like that's out there. Okay. A painting of a gorgeous horse in its prime. Unfortunately, it looks the same as the one outside. See? This is, is this a museum? I'm sudden, I'm sudden, immaculateness and oh, omulence were not the impression I was expecting to have on the way in. Like, this is too perfect. According to the clock, today's day is December 21st. I can't believe I've been on the water for more than five weeks now. A well grown family, they look very rich. These uniforms look ancient. Seems like the children once lived here. Everything looks well maintained. Is someone still living here? Don't say that. You don't say that shit. You have 88 new messages. Playing message from five years ago. Jacob. This is my final reminder about the upcoming board meeting. As CEO and chairman of the board, you are responsible to answer the charges leveled against you. The meeting will discuss how you squandered company funds on gambling. You have not attended a single meeting for months, and the board will also decide your future as chairman. Please respond. This is your company, and it faces huge problems. 
Oh. This book looks like a part of a series of the 17th century American history Salem, Massachusetts. Place in American history. So, whoever lived here didn't do their job. It looks like a fucking museum. You can't tell me fucking otherwise. Okay, what's over here? A, a Claire wins Kentucky Derby. A plane, a painting depicting destruction caused by raising waves and storms. A diary next to a photo of an old man must be the previous patron of the family. Most entries discuss a hope for his son. Jacob's ability to lead the company he built into prosperity and remove the previous tarnished reputation of the Wardwell family. <gasps> dun, 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 the title. Oh, I'm not surprised. It's called the Wardwell House. So. Volume after volume, topics ranging from finance to probably to investing and even horse racing. Texts on theology, mysticism, and ancient history. It's apparent that many more books are missing from the shelf than any of the others. This fabric has been used a great deal. There's a faint sensation of residential heat being given off. Oh, so someone still lives here. Some of these photos have been placed with dates and names. They appear to be family photos through multiple generations. Some of them are quite old. It's been here for a while. Pages and pages of the head of the household diary entries. It looks like he suddenly shifted gears and focused on gambling above all else. And then he begins to focus on his family history and gene genealogy. His name is Jacob Wardwell. But this looks well kept. Like it's not just like do that music. This is the last instrument I want to hear played right now. Oh my lord. The fireplace is ornamental and is nothing, and it's another expression of wealth, and it's made of express, expensive marble with generations golden accents. Looks like a family sat here every evening sharing dinner. A very old and dusty chest. It's tightly locked. To my one and only true love, Catherine Jacob. Well, Catherine's place, place. Face that looks blurry. Eclair's triple crown win. That horse must have been a real winner. It was it was coveted once. I don't know what the fuck that means. But look at this place. Oh look at that. I didn't oh. That's kinda cool though. That would have been like a nice pattern to have. On like all of them. Am I missing something? Oh. The fame reads Samuel Wardrow, May 16, 1610 to September 22, 1692, Salem, Massachusetts. Okay. It's September 21st, right? This man died September 22nd. Why do I feel that on September 2nd, the next day, shit's gonna go down? We're gonna be here all night, and then the next day comes, and it's gonna be a horror show. It's gonna be a horror show. What is this? The painting this depicts a man being seduced into a forest by an enchanting witch. Portrait of Aunt Claire. This must have been made to commemorate its big derby one. I hate the fucking music. That shirt looks freshly washed and ironed. Don't fucking get shut the fuck up. I shouldn't have done that. Oh no, oh no. Piano sonato number eight in minor C. No, up, oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. Move, 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 move. Up, okay, we go up. Oh my god, I, I didn't think I was gonna play music. Events of World Child Family. These vases look exotic and expensive. I thought something was gonna happen. A letter addressed to Jacob Wardrobe by his wife, who says that she will return in one week for the rest of her things and collect the children. Oh, man, God. <coughs> oh, I died. Man, God, a horse. Several horses, horse racing trophies. That horse must have earned its keep. I'm gonna like spit. Oh, 
like something happening something's gonna happen and so tempting this house has raised my curiosity so i'll look around first for us from decades past it looks like someone was searching through this family's background for something the clothes on the arms are mis mis sections look worn like they've been carried and held a lot more evidence of the children they're dusty it's so tempting, but this house has raised like, oh, I did that. Oh, what the fuck? Are those scratches on the ceiling? <gasps> so this doesn't look like a 19-something. That looks very modern. Maybe I'm wrong. Porch of Ella and Eva Wardle. Oh, yeah, daughter. That's nice. That does like, is this person made this home into a museum? I'm mean, getting late. I'm not. I'm in no rush to leave since I doubt anyone living is living on this secluded island. Oh, even better bed. It's done. This will be my new bedroom for the next few days. Huh? Nicely tailored tuxedo, though. I see several red stains on it. Huh? Someone is here. I better hide. here went down that hall I've got to find somewhere to hide downstairs it's like I thought I had rather better leave rather than hide I don't get I don't want to get caught Thank goodness I got out. I don't know who that was, but I'd rather not find out. Go! Go! Yeah! It's beginning to get dark. Was I really in that house for that long? I wonder if I passed out for a while and didn't notice. No, you didn't! You didn't pass out! Why is it looked angled? I'll have to drag my feet to the boat. Maybe I can patch it up with some of the fallen tree branches near it. <sighs> oh, hell no. You even, like, we even saw. Just thinking about being back on the water makes me sick. The sun was beating on me for days. I have, I had nothing to drink or eat. But we, we saw the light was like the little flashlight thing was like fresh. The change were fresh. The hand was fresh. 
like how most of the shit was fresh. Being completely alone for weeks without any resources can make a man go crazy. The mind starts turning on itself, leading to hallucinations. That's this way. Why are we like weirdly tilted like we're drunk or something? And one hallucination is all the waves rise as high as the skyscrapers and they came crashing down on me. When I came to my senses, the water was serene and peaceful. What is that? Can my luck get any worse? It's about to start raining any minute. How will my broken boat handle a storm? Cool. Also, where the arrow is, it looks like there's a per like a weird, long-ass skeleton person. Look at that. Look where the arrow. Look where the arrow is. Look at that. Uh, nah. Look over there. Right there. Right there. You see it? Yeah. It's just trees, but I think I'm almost back to where I began. Yeah. We're almost there. This can't be possible. Could I have gotten lost and navigated back by mistake? No! We were on the fucking path. Oh, God. Chapter 3 times down. Oh, okay. Oh. It's too cold outside and the rain is getting heavier by the minute. I can't risk getting hyperthermia by staying outside. It's best to go inside the house until the rain stops. You fucking kidding me? Okay, this is where we're fucking ending it, cause that was a lot to unpack there. That was a lot to see. Okay, we knew someone was gonna be living here, cause when we first got there, um, the chains, chains were fucking fresh, right? The chains. The trees, the lighting, there's blood, there's a hand. Uh, and then we saw a freshly ironed shirt in there. That should have been a, f like, that was an immediate red flag to leave. Immediately. But no, we stayed, right? We were idiots. We were like, you know what? We were searching for, we were, we were standing on the water, and who cares, right? No, ain't, ain't doing that, ain't doing that. But we are ending this shit here. Again, short episodes, we're getting through. But, <laughs> oh, but I will see you guys later. Bye.